हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस वंडरफुल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेप एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन वीडियो रिलेटेड टू आई एम कलकत्ता सो गाइज इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर पीएचडी डॉक्टोरल प्रोग्राम्स इन आईआईएम विद द गेट स्कोर देन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू इफ यू आर इन फाइनल ईयर ऑफ बी एंड स्टिल यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ एडमिशन इन टू आई दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू येस फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज आई एम कलकत्ता वेबसाइट and you can see phd doctoral program admissions they are talking about and first of all let us see the eligibility so first eligibility you can see is if you are btech four year degree with 6.5 cgpa or equivalent you are eligible okay and other eligibilities are for ca student if they are having 50% uh, minimum with ca they are also eligible and there are some other like if someone is ba plus mba he is also eligible but for btech student btech students are eligible without mtech also for the phd program at iim kolkata so my dear now what they are asking for 6.5 cgpa which is the demand of iits nits also uh, when they when you are going to get admissions into mtech so whatever they are asking for mtech the same they are asking for phd okay then my dear you can see some other things they have also mentioned they have also mentioned some guidelines in this paragraph in addition applicant must have obtained the minimum 50% marks aggregate in either secondary or higher secondary they are talking about 10th and 12th class and they are also asking a final year student appearing for bachelor's degree examination in engineering or master's degree examination in any discipline can also apply such a candidate if selected will be provisionally admitted he completes all the requirements for obtaining the degree before 30th june 2024 if you give the exam of your final year of of your uh, you can say graduation or post graduation before 30th june and my dear they have given the deadline for submitting the final year degree at 31st december 2024 so if you will give exam by 30th june you will be providing degree by 31st or 30th december of 2024 so my dear it means if you are in final year right now you can apply for this okay then my dear what are the admissions criteria they have mentioned an applicant can apply to at most two areas of specialization he needs to have taken the cat 2023 or whenever he is saying or there are scope of gmat gre and gate so we will see that where gate is eligible so you can see for economics gate in economics is eligible only but mis management information system gate in any discipline mechanical civil xc environment computer science ec in every every branch is eligible okay so if you have given gate in any discipline you are eligible for management information system you are eligible for marketing also gate in any discipline you are eligible for uh, organizational behavior gate in any discipline okay you are eligible for strategic management gate in any discipline so these are the four areas where gate in any discipline is eligible and you can apply for maximum of two post okay they have mentioned it and validity of the score is 2 year from the date of the test it means if you have appeared for gate 2023 gate 2022 you are eligible okay that is the case admission requirement they have said what are the things which can cancel your admission is if you are submitting more than one in one application if you are representing the wrong information if you are submitting the incomplete application form if you are already uh, you are apart from the requirement mentioned in the application form if you are going to go for informal recommendations like you are going to show some recommendations which are not required and if you do not meet any of the requirement in these cases your admission will not be there okay that is there in every case okay these things are there in every admission process now they are also mentioning how you need to apply so for that what they are saying what they are saying ki you are advised to go through the detailed eligibility and admissions criteria we have seen you may choose to apply to a maximum of two areas we have seen applicants are requested to fill the referral information carefully and referee information has to furnish the online application form which one submitted and then you can see referee details cannot be changed two recommendations are required mandatory for a candidate applying for phd both the referee should be person who are in a position to comment on your candidature it means generally uh, like if you are a masters or btech student then your guides your hods they can act like that okay so then i am also telling you they are also mentioning 
they are also mentioning that at least one reference should preferably be a faculty member of the university, college or institution or higher studies and research. The applicant application will be treated as incomplete without these two recommendation details. Okay. Then my dear, once the referee details are submitted, the referees will receive the an email. So whatever those referees would be there, those you would be putting the details. They have to uh, give that yes also. Yes, that candidate is, that is good and uh, obviously he will be saying in favor of you if you have been a student and if you are a good student obviously. So then they are also saying that uh, the application cannot be submitted without the payment of application fee. SC, ST, OBC, EWS, PWD applicants uh, are required to pay an application fee of 1000 and all other applicants are required to pay an application fee of 2000. Payment can only be made by credit, debit, net banking and they have also mentioned a processing fees of rupees 30 will be applicable and also you can uh, you can also do one thing those who are unable to pay online may send the demand draft at Indian Institute of Management Kolkata. Then my dear they have mentioned the fees once again 1000 and 2000 you have seen and in the other information page you can also upload the documents PDF and TXT file of your credentials. And they have mentioned that this section and form is best viewed in these, 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 uh, soft, uh, these, 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 uh, you can say Google Chrome and all. So guys, this is about the admission detail for IIM Kolkata. I have given you all the details they have mentioned here. So if you are interested, you can apply. So goodbye guys for this particular video and stay tuned with us to get all the information on time. Goodbye.